What's going on guys, you never give me back another MLB Show 22 video and in today's video I'm going to be telling you the best XP method you can use to complete the new Dog Days of Summer program as fast as possible. If you enjoyed today's video and find it useful, hitting that like button and subscribing helps me out a ton. It takes, it's free, it takes like two seconds. Let's get into it. So, Fuel of Dreams program is going to be ending very shortly in just over four hours. So, you are going to need to be prepared for when the next program comes out. And that is the Dog Day Summer program, which will be out as of the time this video will become public. So, I'm going to tell you the best XP method so you can level up and try and finish your Dog Day Summer program. I use this method to complete the Fuel of Dreams program and get a ton of rewards, get all the ball and out of control, get all the all-star game, get all the home run derby packs, and get all the bosses as well. These bosses are really, really good. You're going to want them. You're going to want 9. 99 Pedro, you're gonna want Mickey Mantle, you're gonna want Cal Ripken, you're gonna want Johnny Bench, you're gonna want all these guys. So the first thing you have to do is leave Diamond Dynasty, go up to the Create tab, and go to the Vault. You're gonna want to go off the Logo Vault, go to the Roster Vault, then you're gonna sort, and you're gonna sort by downloads descending, and then you're gonna go to page number two, and you're going to download the United XP Road to the Show Position Player Roster. You're gonna download that, do all that stuff. You just gotta download it, not that hard. And I don't need to download it because I already got it downloaded. Once you have downloaded it, you are going to need to go to Road the Show. You're going to want to start new. You want to set up my ball player. As we can see here, we got, you know, the active ball player. It can be any position on the field. This doesn't really matter what position. I'm just going to use my creative ball player. It can be any position. It just has to be a position player. It cannot be a pitcher. So, let's go into one of the load saved rosters. And we are going to want to go and we're going to want to load the roster. We're going to want to load the United XP Road Show Position Player roster. Going to skip all of what Ben Gallman says because no one cares about what, what Ben Gallman says. We, and this is another important part. You are going to need to get drafted by the Yankees. You don't get drafted by the Yankees, this won't work. So you want to go, there's one team I've heard from more than a couple of times. Let me guess the Reds. Basically, you have to do this guessing game until you get it right. American League, yes, you want to play for the New York Yankees. If you don't play for the Yankees, this method will not work nearly as effectively. And we got this long cut scene here, and it's it's whatever. But I promise you, this is the best XP method in the game. It's the easiest XP method in the game. You can basically mindless sit here, watch Netflix. You can, like, be in the other room. You can't be in the other room, but you can just sit here with your phone out, watch some Netflix, do all some good stuff, and chill. And you can be getting XP in MLB The Show. So this is a huge method that you're going to want to use. You don't use this. I promise you, it's going to lose you some XP. But let's just get past all this cutscene until we get drafted by the Yankees. Boom. Just got drafted by the Yankees. You pick them, you'll get drafted by them every single time. With that, I do promise. So, now that we are in the road to the show and we got our thing all set up, we got to skip what Christopher Russo says because we don't care what he says. And then we are going to want to go and do a few things. So, first thing, if you're on next-gen console, PS5 or Xbox Series X, you're going to go to Stadium Assignment, and you're going to want to make a creative stadium with the walls all the way in and have them basically be on max elevation. So I'm going to go to my creative stadium. I just call it Dingers, and basically you can hit a bunch of homers, and it's really not that hard. You can just smack a bunch of Dingers over and over and over again. It's max elevation. The walls are in super, super short, and I'm going to change it for every stadium in this. I'm not going to do every stadium, but I am going to do the one that we'll play our first game in. So let's just set it for the fight and fills because that is the first team on the road you're going to be playing. So we're going to leave that. Next thing we're going to take a look at is settings. You want to go to settings. You want to just take a look. You want your gameplay. You want it to be on beginner. You want your gameplay difficulty to be on beginner. And you want your hitting interference to be on zone. So you really only have to press the X button to hit a home run. And besides that, none of, your, none of these stats, uh, none of these really matter on presentation. To see things up, you want fast play and you want everything off and this on rarely. That way we can make things go a little quicker and just copy these settings. It can make everything go faster, I promise. And then for audio slash video, that does not matter. And mode specific, you want feeling opportunities on none, base running opportunities on none. So you're only going to be hitting and that that's it. You're literally only going to be hitting. So base running and fielding on none. It doesn't matter. You don't need to participate in those. So I'm going to use as default because I did not have the one selected. We're going to go up to play. We're going to play our first game in this. We have to listen to Ben Gallman talk again. So we're going to play this. And this is an insane XP method. You can get so much. You get about, I forgot how much exactly XP you get per game. But the point is, you play one game, takes about two minutes, and you get about seven at-bats. Really depends on how many at-bats you get. And I messed up and accidentally had zone. When I meant zone, I meant directional. I don't know why. I was not thinking you want directional settings on. I don't know why I said zone. I was not thinking clearly. So you want your hitting interference on zone. And basically, you want to just point up 
power swing or normal swing it doesn't matter you're gonna hit a home run every single time and with this method your entire yankees farm system everyone on the yankees is a 99 overall player so that means you're gonna get more at bats you're gonna score more runs and everyone else is a zero overall it allows you to hit a lot more home runs get a ton more at bats now what matters is how many at bats you get you don't get a ton of at bats you're not obviously not gonna get i don't know why it's replaying so much that's weird that's weird that should not be in the presentation setting that's i don't know why it switched to hybrid i think i forgot the I think I pressed the wrong button. So what? I think I pressed the wrong button when messing with my settings. But whatever. That's probably why that's happening. But that should not be happening. I think I just pressed the wrong button when messing with my settings. So it's 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 whatever. So all right. Hop in here. Hit another bomb. Not not hard. Boom. Grand slam. We already have three home runs and it's the fourth inning. The more base runners, obviously, the better. You cannot control base runners and you can't control how many at bats you get. But you can try and do your best to get the most at bats. I'm gonna fix that real quick. That's annoying me fast play thank you boom all right it's gonna keep spamming home runs until eventually the game will end and you will be able to collect your xp that time i did not get a home run because of the bad pitch location but it's okay sometimes you're not gonna get a home run you don't get a home run every single time but i'll tell you what it, it's better to get a single than get out so there's there's always some positive to it i guess so i guess i have to guess pitch and i guess pitch wrong but it doesn't really matter i'm still going yard anyway That'll be our fourth, fifth home run of the game. No, that'll be our fourth home run. Fourth home run of the game, my mistake. Fourth home run of the game. I'm probably going to get one more at bat here in the ninth, and I'm probably not going to get as much XP this game because I only got like five homers, which isn't really good. Usually, you're gonna, on average, I find you get about six or seven per game. And there are instances when you score too many runs that the game's going to crash. I've seen that happen multiple times, and it says, boom, right there. It says we had 1,000 XP. That is not accurate. That is not necessarily accurate. So we're going to leave. And since we're on double XP, we need to divide that number by two. Because that number is not correct. We need to divide that number by two. So let me get my handy dandy calculator out here. My handy dandy calculator. That took, I don't know, that took about two minutes to complete. And let's see. 1164 divided by two. We're going to get about two, 582 XP. Again, that wasn't the greatest game. So that's probably why that number is lower. But... If you did that in two minutes, if you can do that 30 times an hour, we're going to get left with about 17,000 XP. And that is 17,000 XP per hour. And that is not including the program points that you can get. And that was a bad game. On average, you're getting about 700 XP per game. You divide that number by 30, and you're getting up about 21,000 XP. Plus, all the rewards you can get for missions and stuff if you haven't completed those yet. That can add up to about 2,500 XP, maybe even 30,000 XP. So... We've, the next thing we're going to take a look at is the program. So we take a look at the program here, the item program. There are XP along the way for this item program. Obviously, when you're done it, you can't get the XP again, but there are multiple archetypes. So you obviously can get, once you've done all the gold power, once you've done all the power ones, there's no more power ones you can get. But you can switch to contact, and that will allow you to do the program again. So the lower levels, you're going to get a ton less XP. So you're only getting about 1,500 XP for this. So it's a little less, but obviously when you work your way up, you're going to get a ton more XP. But it's easier to level up these lower overall programs as well. So that's also something to keep in mind. So adding all that together, you're going to add up with, if you, I absolute worst, you're going to probably end up with 20,000 XP per hour. It is really a rangy thing. Some of it's RNG based, some of it's player user based. It's a lot of RNG that goes into this method, but at the lowest, you're going to end up with about, I don't know, 17,000 XP per hour like I just showed you, and at the highest, you can end up with 2,500 XP, which, 20, yeah, 2,500 XP, which is amazing. If you really want this XP, you're going to really want to want these bosses. These bosses are going to be amazing, and if you do this method fast enough, these bosses will still be going for a ton of studs, which means you can sell them later on, and you can buy them back later for a boatload of more stubs. This is the best XP method in the game. Plus, you literally don't even need to pay attention. I could just go watch Netflix. I can literally like binge the entirety of Stranger Things and just be grinding XP. I can just watch Netflix, just hold this, hold this button up, and just hit a bunch of homers. So make sure you're on directional. My settings got messed up. I don't know why stuff stuff was not going right, but I, it was it's whatever stuff. I don't know what was going on with my settings. But if stuff was going on in my settings. But anyway, if you enjoyed today's video and you enjoyed today's XP method and found it useful, hitting that like button and subscribing helps me out a ton. It's free. It takes like 13 seconds anyway. 
I'm your gaming six one. Peace. Thank you so much for watching.